Talk about your energy and effort tonight. You were very energetic and you had a 13 point performance tonight. Yeah, I mean, I just, um, you know, just try to be aggressive, have fun, man. Just play hard, play energy, and, uh, just go compete, and just let, let everything come. And, uh, just get rebounds and assists and just score. And, just try to do everything. Just play hard. Just have fun, man. That's all I'm trying to do and just help this team win. What are your biggest challenges on this trip? <clears throat> well, besides well, Mr. Westbrook, obviously, the way he's going. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're playing against two great teams. <laughs> uh, two finals caliber teams. I don't care what the Thunder's record is. Everybody knows they're a finals caliber team because uh, they've had injuries. And we're going against right now the best player in the NBA. Russell uh, Westbrook's the best player in the NBA. So uh, we just got to go out there and be aggressive. and make everything as difficult with him and not let him just attack us at will like he's doing everybody else and you know, be aggressive with them. Just not let it come easy. And then at the end of the day, we got to do what we do. They got to stop us too. You know I mean? That's the way we got to think. They got to stop us. And uh, we just got to be aggressive, like I said. Everybody move the ball, play hard, and, and let everything come. How do you ride the wave of momentum off of this win? You just got to keep it going. Consistently. You just got to keep, keep it going, man. It's, I mean, it's. I think we have been consistent. It's, we're in the West. I mean, I don't know how consistent you could be at this point with at late in the year, you know. Um, you're not going to see anybody in the West right now run 10 or 11 off in a row. It's just not going to happen because everybody's right now at their peak at basketball and get ready for the playoffs. People run those 10, 11, 12-point games off in a row when the season starts, you know, because everybody's trying to find themselves. Right now, you just got to – every game's going to be a battle. I don't care who we play. It's going to be a battle because the teams that are in the playoffs are trying to fight for seeding. And the teams that aren't in the playoffs are just trying to mess up a game for you, you know, because they got nothing to lose. They're out there playing looses, looses can be. So every game is going to be tough from now on. So we just got to understand that. And I know that because I was on the other end of the stick last year, sure. you know what I mean? So I know what our mindset was. So now that I'm on a team like this, we got to understand every game is a big game. And without the guys you have, uh, how big is the D going to be uh, in the next, especially the next few uh, We just got to continue to, <laughs> uh, we just got to continue to play um, Clippers basketball. You know what I mean, on both ends of the floor. I think when we understand and we don't let one end dictate the other, I think we're a much better team. And that's what we realized that. We talked about it tonight. So going forward, we got to understand. I don't care if our shots are, you know, falling or not. Our shots are going to fall. We got great players. We're going to make shots. Uh, we got to just be a great on defense. And when we do that, it gives you a chance to play great the whole game. And like I said, just keep being aggressive. We are going to score a lot of points, but we got to, you know, play up his defense too. Talk about the DJ connection. You had a highlight play where you lobbed it up and he slammed it. In fact, that was the the marquee play of the night. Every time DJ was going to the basket, dunking and dunking. Well, you, uh, well right now it, it you it's on us to be aggressive, attacking because they got it. They got to pick. They're either gonna stop DJ from the lob, we're gonna get a layup, or if the other guy weak side helps, we're gonna hit to find the three. So we're just coming off looking to score and then reading off that. Every time I came off the pick and roll, I was trying to score. And then they stop, DJ's open. When DJ's rolling, you just got to throw it up to the sky and he'll go get it. He's, he's the most athletic, big, probably one of the best, most athletic base ever in the NBA. So you just throw the ball up, he'll go get it.